Hi everyone and welcome to my Python tutorial series and uh, we are going to solve a lot of questions and uh, practice Python so let's get started with the first question itself all right so let's practice it so as there's a saying practice makes some um, a person better so the more you code the better you get so let's try the first program write a program which prompts the user to uh, enter celsius and convert the temperature into fahrenheit so uh, this program involves a mathematical calculation so you can just head over to google and search for a formula c e l c i u s celsius to fahrenheit uh, formula and hit enter so just go to the first link right there so here you can see it's 9.5 plus 32 now head over uh, heading towards the program itself so you can see i have defined a function known as temperature okay now cell is a variable and input is a function which takes argument from the user enter temperature in celsius that that is a message then we perform then uh, i have uh, convert the string into float so whatever data we get from this uh, input it's always in string to perform mathematical co operation we need to convert the data into float okay so we convert that temperature into float so after converting into float perform the mathematical operation fahrenheit equals to cal plus 9.5 plus 32 as i just showed you in the google that there was a formula outside so i just performed a mathematical operation and i printed simple temperature fahrenheit brace bracket dot format fahrenheit which will print the uh, stuff and let's try to run this and see if it works okay i'm getting a message enter temperature in celsius let's say one so the temperature would be 33.8 so if i enter two it's 35.6 the program is working absolutely correct and um, so go ahead and try to modify this program and convert this temperature like convert make a software where you can convert temperature when a user enter a temperature in celsius you can convert it in into Fahrenheit or Kelvin and that's how you, you are going to be better at programming and I would suggest like I'm also going to make a tutorial on TK in terms of making a GUI so I'm going to make a GUI out of this program uh, so stay connected with me and we are going to learn a lot of new, uh, new stuff that's it for this video if you have some questions or doubts or improvement in this code let me know feel free to comment on this video and I shall see you guys next time thank you guys.